Hi everyone, Miss Allison here from the Barberton Public Library and today we're going to do some fairy tale science and we're going to do um, a little experiment that has to do with Jack and the Beanstalk. I've got a couple books here. Um, this is a little easy reader version of Jack and the Beanstalk. You can check any of these books out here at the library if you'd like. This is a fun Jack and the Beanstalk um, that actually has pictures of real people in it. You can see this be this giant beanstalk and this little boy climbing up it. So that's another fun one. And then this is a fun graphic novel that's kind of a take on Jack and the Beanstalk. It's called Mighty Jack. Um, it's the first book in a series. And Jack doesn't necessarily plant a beanstalk in this one, but he does um, have a garden. So that's another fun one to read. So here's my beanstalk. All right, here's little Jack, okay? And the story goes that Jack and his mom had to sell their cow because they didn't have enough money to buy food. So Jack's mom sent him out to sell the cow and Jack came back with a handful of bean seeds. Now, Jack's mom was a little upset with him because he sold a whole cow and all he got was a handful of bean seeds. And bean seeds take a long time to grow. I started this seed about eight days ago. And as you can tell, it's just got the, the stem coming down and some roots. And just right here, I noticed today, there are some little leaves starting to come out. That was eight days ago. How long do you think it's gonna take before this grows beans that I can eat? It's going to take a little while. So you can see why Jack's mom was upset. They didn't have any money to buy food. And Jack just wasted the cow for a couple of bean seeds that wouldn't be ready to grow beans for a month or two. So Jack's mom threw the bean seeds out the window. But what she didn't know was that they were magic beans. And so a beanstalk grew. This isn't a beanstalk. This is a house plant, but it's a nice vine because it takes too long to grow a bean seed. So Jack climbed up the beanstalk, up into the clouds, and found the house of a giant. He snuck around the giant's house for a while. He took the giant's uh, hen that laid golden eggs, and then the giant figured out he was there and started chasing Jack. So Jack had to come back. He had to climb all the way down the beanstalk, and then he had to chop the beanstalk down so that the giant couldn't follow him down the beanstalk. But, you think there might have been a quicker way for Jack to get down? You think if maybe Jack had taken a parachute with him, he could have gotten down a lot faster? Well, today, we are going to make a parachute. Whoops, Jack's upside down. That's not good. Today, we are going to make a parachute. And if you stop by the library this week, the week of July 6th, you can pick up a take and make craft bag that has all the supplies you need in it to build your own parachute. Or I'm gonna tell you about some different stuff you can get from home to build a parachute. So this parachute that I made that's gonna be in the bags that you pick up at the library is from a piece of plastic. But you can also use a plastic bag. You could cut up a plastic bag if you've got one of these at home. Um, you could use a piece of paper towel you could even use a piece of fabric. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a ruler and you wanna cut your piece of plastic or your paper towel or your piece of fabric. You wanna cut it so it's eight inches by eight inches. All right, and that's how big this piece and this piece already are. Now, if you wanna make a bigger parachute, you can make it bigger if you want. Just, just remember the inches, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut two pieces of string, and the string has to be double the number of inches that the square is. So if the square has an eight inch side, eight plus eight is 16, so you have to have a, a piece of string that's 16 inches long, so it's twice as long as your square. So if you wanted to make a parachute that was 15 inches, a bigger parachute, you would have to cut a string that was 30 inches. All right, so there's a couple different things you can do to get the string attached to the parachute. 
Um, you can tie, I don't know how hard this is gonna be to see because this plastic is clear, but you can take a corner of your plastic and you can tie a little knot. It's a little slippery, so you have to be careful. But you just tie a one single knot right there in the corner of your plastic and pull it out to the end as much as you can, all right? So you can tie a little knot right there. If you've got a piece of fabric, you can tie a knot in the corners of your fabric, but it's a little harder to do it with the fabric for some reason. The fabric feels a little thicker or something. So what I did over here on this corner was I just made a little hole with a pair of scissors, all right? So I just kind of folded it and I snipped a little hole right there with my scissors. And then I can take my string and I can tie it, put it through the hole, I put it through the hole, and then I can just tie a little knot right there. All right. And then I'm gonna take the other end of the string and I'm gonna go to the other corner and I'm gonna tie a little knot right here. All right, so um, if you do this on your piece of plastic, okay, you've got your knot right here, you're gonna tie the string around right there so it's underneath your knot. So you can see here on the one I already made that it won't come off because the knot is stopping it from coming off. Now, if you decide to use a piece of paper towel you can cut a little hole in it, just like we did with the piece of fabric, but it's probably a good idea to take a piece of tape and put it over the hole so that it doesn't rip because paper towels aren't as sturdy as a piece of fabric. So you put a piece of tape right here on the corner and then you'll cut a little hole over top of the tape and that'll keep it hole right there all right and you can string your thread through there and then that'll keep it from ripping the paper towel all right so you do that you've got the two corners on this side are tied together and then let me tie this last knot here there are two all right so now we've got the two corners on this one tied together. So now we have a nice, oops, we have a nice little parachute. We've got a fabric one here and we've got a plastic one here. All right, and I've got, all right, so whoops, Jack's really tangled up here, isn't he? All right, so I'm gonna hold this up in the air and we're gonna drop it and we're gonna see how fast Jack falls. Whoop, kind of fast, all right. Let me hold it back here a little further so it maybe goes a little longer. All right, well that is our parachute. Let's try the fabric one. Put Jack on that one and see if that one, some things might work better than others. A fabric one might be better than a plastic one or maybe a paper towel, who knows? So make a couple different parachutes and experiment with some, some little toys and see if you can, whoops and tie a very good knot. See if you can, maybe you can make a couple, have a couple different toys that you're letting parachute and you can have races and see who's the fastest or see who's the slowest maybe because it's probably better to be slow in a parachute. All right, so we're gonna hold this one up, okay? Give it a little toss and we're gonna, whoop. So you see that one works. You can see the parachute fill with air as it comes down. All right. So like I said, stop by the library this week, pick up a um, take and make craft bag, and it will have all the supplies in it you need to build one of the plastic parachutes. Um, or you can make one at home. There are also some links included that have um, some instructions on how to make parachutes and some little videos and stuff like that. In case you couldn't see my fingers tying stuff, it's got some nice pictures on how to tie it. So I hope everybody enjoyed and have a good afternoon. Thank you.